We've just gotten the gold from this as we've transferred the material from one pan to another. Instead of what we started out doing, just only keeping the amount that we can keep under control in our pan. Let's just check ourselves and see if we lost any gold. We're going to take all this material here that we transferred out. We're going to put it back in our pan. And we're going to go through and do exactly what we did the first time. So it'll be kind of like a, a refresher lesson for you. Back and forth. When it gets to the end, quit. Let it lock up. Wash out the top of it. Do that a couple of times. Bring it back down, flat. Go forward a little bit. Wash it out a couple of times. Bring it back down flat. Go forward a little bit. Wash it out a couple of times. Now we've got just down to that black sand. We're going to bring it all back down to the bottom. We're going to do that rub your belly, pat your head technique. And that's exactly why we don't do it that way. Because you can transfer gold out of your pan. As good as you are, and as good as I think I am, I still would have missed that gold. So never do your cleanup in a stream. Always do it in a pan. Always do it completely in control so you don't discard and discharge any of that gold. Got it now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have my doubts. I, I, you know, I know Mike, he's probably the best fine gold guy out there, but I'm telling you, I gave him a challenge and I am not too sure whether he can really do it or not. <laughs>